Mikey, uh, before we get in, the, the Dodgers are an absolute juggernaut, okay? But to watch them take apart the Giants, certain innings, right? They're losing 2 nothing. Freddie Freeman stays inside something, shoots it the other way. Max Muncy bunts. Bunts to third. Justin Turner three-run bomb. It's like they kill you in so many different ways. He's been... He's the dream, right? He's well, the utility player, like guy like myself. He was the dream. He's what we aspired to do. Absolutely. And I think before we get to the board, I think it's almost possible he flies under the radar because yeah. it's Trey Turner, it's Freddie Freeman. By the way, Mookie. Cody Bellinger won an MVP award. That's we, ninth. We, yeah, yeah, we don't even like talk about him. So let's just see what Justin Turner has done basically in the last, what, two and a half months? Look at this. This is since June 30th. I mean, these are MLB ranks. This isn't Dodger ranks. This isn't National League ranks. Wow. First and average, second on wow. base percentage, fourth know and was. slugging. And I'm assuming all these second places are to Aaron Judge, which is an absolute <laughs> joke. And he's having, you know, a, a historical season. But let's, you know, I don't think everyone knows the exact timeline of his career. He's drafted by the Reds. He actually has three real good minor league seasons, gets traded to the Baltimore Orioles and takes his debut. Well, let's start the, you know, we can roll the tape on kind of how he started his big league career. So he gets there. Look at this. You know, no facial hair. Wow. Who's this guy? You know, had a cup of coffee with, really never got any at bats. We're showing a couple knocks, but it, it, it looks like an approach, very simple step. All this goes to the Mets. You see a little bit bigger right. leg kick. Starting to feel himself. And really only had one year where he got at bats. You know, those 400 plus plate appearances. Then he, ah, a couple choice words for the pitcher, just did not pan out in the Mets plan. So what do they do? They non-tender him. 2014 comes and the Dodgers pick him up. And if the Dodgers knew he was going to turn into this, I give all the credit in the world to the Dodgers. But I have to give more credit to the individual himself. Yeah. You know, you're always at a crossroads, I think, in your career where either A, you're struggling, or B, you're getting older, or you're coming off injury. There, there's something, there's doubt, even as a big league player. And he's just actually turned into an, a monster. This is eight years. So these last two, we're going we're gonna to go back. I'm going to let you see one more clip in fast motion because this was Look at that. an absolute joke right here. So let's rewind to uh, mm. go back. I like that. We're going to go back. So let's rewind two to the change up inside because this is one thing that I think Justin Turner does real well. Keep going back, 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 back. Right here, this one. Okay, good approach. He has a high, stop right there. He has a high leg kick. So for me, guys that have the real high leg kick, that balance point when you land has to be perfect. I was always jealous of guys like Albert Pujols and all that. I, I felt like I had a little bit of a violent leg kick and I was always trying to, to kind of simmer it down. Yeah. You know, and Pujols is like, tap, explode. And I was like, how do they do it? But Justin Turner is not this guy. He has a high leg kick. The balance is huge. I think the hand direction is what sets him apart. Let's roll this here. Look at where this pitch ends up. Right before he makes contact, let's stop it. God, there's so many things I want to ask. Yeah, I mean, it's that's two, three baseballs inside the inside corner. Look at his hands. I mean, there's no extension in his elbows. You don't see any extension, which means he's tucking these hands so far in, but still putting the barrel in a position to do something. A lot of guys, when they see that, what they do is they get excited because it's in, and the contact point, yep. or here, the contact point is out in front. So, oh, wow, great contact, foul ball line drive into, you know, Stand down the third baseline. This. So he stays in. This you know what's interesting to me, Mike? And you can run that back real quick. All right, now come come forward. Usually the hands come down. All right, pause that real quick. What do I mean by that? Some guys load, you hear coaches talk about loading straight back. I, I couldn't do that. I don't know, my left pec or something. It just felt tight to me. So I wanted to load down, right? Okay. But I wanted to make sure. So that makes, come on, Ralph, well, stay with me. So when I load down, you watch like guys like Barry Bonds, you load down, but then at some point, it's got to get back, back up. up. Yes. He doesn't ever come back up. Watch where his hand's set, and then he fires from where he is at his lowest point. And then he just goes. It's pretty impressive. It really is, and, it, and I think it's, it's directional and it's understanding. I think now also we're getting into launch angles. So as long as you don't dip below the, the point where actually your hands can start above the baseball, yeah. I think it can be done. So let's go to this next one, which is, I mean, a change of down. Change this up is in, down. In. Boom. Oh, for a strike. God. Melted. I mean, so for me, when we go look at a guy like Justin Turner at the plate, 
His hand direction was interesting. His teammate Freddie Freeman said that Chipper Jones taught him. I know you're a big love to talk about how Chipper Jones is a very cerebral hitter. He, Freddie Freeman was talking about how his hands he wanted Followed to follow that white line. White line, yeah. which was a huge thing for me. I, I never huge, thought that in a million years. It was. I was a huge pull hitter, but I figured if I could keep my hands down that white line, it gave me a chance to when I could handle the ball a little bit in of black, I could keep it fair. Now I don't know if everyone uses that, but Justin Turner, what I noticed, the changeup to stay through it is what's really impressive to me. Change up in, we can keep our hands inside. Change up middle, that's where the discipline, the timing has to come in because if we meet it out here, ground ball to short. Especially in situations where there's a couple guys on base and you're looking to do damage. I mean, he stays, big leg kick, stays here and stays almost behind the baseball. But with that trajectory of keeping the hands towards the big part of the field, Makes contact. I mean, it's left center, but it's a little more center of left center. I mean, I love watching him play because, look, he's battle tested. Oh, yeah. He hits good he's pitching. Post he's postseason, comes up with big moments. So, I mean, he's one of those glue guys with the Dodgers that, despite all the superstars they have, I got to believe when, you know, thing get, things get a little tight, eighth and ninth inning, there's a guy throwing 100. They feel pretty I always good have, he's have on the, unbelievable on the respect for him because he's the dream for the for the non number one prospect guy, right? A guy like myself who came into the league and wasn't given a job. You had to, and and he kept fighting, fighting. Something unlocked him. He's made a ton of money in this game. He's had monster moments. I think real quick for me though, he was a guy that looked like going the other way was sinus rhythm for him, mm -hmm. and now he's learned to pull. As a guy who, this could be a mind scrambler, who is a big pull guy, like what would you say to, I couldn't pull a baseball. <laughs> I had to cheat to pull. Right. My, so what was your? Ironically for me, I just You're not thinking think catch the ball out front. No, I, I, was, I, I wanted to catch the ball direct and I noticed just, and this is you know through experience yeah. and understanding, that my point of contact was just a little more out in front than other guys. So two examples of guys that I hit with a lot in my group was Derek Lee, mm. Pudge Rodriguez, and they let the ball get they so let it get deep. deep. And I was they like, I tried to do it, everyone. I just couldn't do it. So I don't know if it's that point of where your hands and your eyes, you know, talk to each other, but my point of contact was a little more out in front. So I noticed sometimes I just be here. So my drill work, believe it or not, with Dave Magadan with the Red Sox and Bill Robinson with the Marlins was, I was all the time up the middle, like right to the right of second base. My yeah. hands, my hands. So that was, that was a learned behavior, you know? So I, I just felt like it still allowed me to bring the hands inside, and I felt like I handled this pitch okay. Like, I loved sinker ballers. And Derek Lee would be like, I hate sinker balls. And then a guy would throw a cutter, 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 and Derek Lee's like, oh, man, I'm so excited for this cut. And I was like, no, I don't want that guy. You know, so it's, it's, it's interesting to me how some guys just really flock to certain type of pitches. So I liked guys coming in because I felt like, especially your last two, three years in the league, I think you feel like you understand what you do well. Yeah. And when I look at Justin Turner, I think he understands – not so much the pitches he can do damage with, but the ones he can lay off to put exactly. himself in the position where the pitcher has to come with something he can do damage with.